until me and my berserkers plowed through their ranks and chased Rodri's brother into a ditch. That's why we're talking peace now. It's thanks to Eva. I am going to enjoy seeing him squeal, the old oak. Not nearly as much as taking him down, though. That would seal my legacy. Your legacy? As king killer. They do not all get away like Borgred did, Wolfkist. Keep the peace, Ivar. What has become of your preening brother? Ah, my brother. He parted. His road is unsure. You are better off leaving that sauntering pole in your wake. Our Bishop Dealov and King Rodri are ensconced in the church ahead. These houses of Christ, they're all so hard and cold. Yet within his walls, the Christian God unites King Rodri, Bishop Dealov, and myself. On his ground, peace will be made. Captain Anil, explain to the good bishop our position. Yes, my sovereign. Bishop Dearlav, we are deaf to offers of peace until Guriad is returned to us. The king's brother. The is... king's brother is a moldering sack of cow dung. You. I know your face, your stench. Ivar, the one they call boneless. Did I not gift you that scar myself? Ah, you did. And I mean to gift you a gash, you reeking piss pot in your fat fucking skull. Hold, both of you. Now's not the time for keeping grudges. We're here to smooth a path to peace. Peace, peace, peace. Not with this bag of Britain slop. On that, we are agreed. Now, now, calm everyone. Good faith is all I ask. You know my demands. Until my brother Gwiriad walks free, peace between us is impossible. He is lucky he can walk at all. Fell on his own blade, fleeing from us. I will soon help you fall on yours. Husband, keep your head. It is in our interest to find a way to peace, all of us. First, my brother. First, your head on a pike. Then the runt goes free. Husband, no! Enough! This is a house of God. Let us take some few minutes to gather ourselves, shall we? Eivor, to me. I do not know you well, but Chaelbert believes you a steady head. We need such a one. It may be too late. I see the crows of war gathering. I have a hefty sum of silver. Speak to the people here. If the silver will help one bring us toward peace, offer it to them. These talks are stalled. I fear the upshot. Do not fret. You will be Elderman yet. Eivor, my friend. I asked around as you suggested. Have you come to a decision? To whom have you given this silver? I have yet to make my decision. Please, don't tarry. You are wasting time! Ivar! Lock the doors, murder that sweating pig, and have done with it. If I could find you silver, that quell your bitterness while we seek peace. Peace? Is that what you think is going to happen here? I told you, I know this bastard. Will silver quiet you? It may, it may not. I would have to see the silver in my hands to know for sure. If there is any silver to be had, I'll think about it. You do that. Now you dangle silver before me! Are you so frightened of the Britons that you fight your battles with wealth? You are Guriad, are you not? Brother to King Rodri. 
So I am. And a bruised pawn in your bloody game. How do you stand with your brother? My brother loves me well. Yet he can be slow and stubborn. But I, King, I'd have played all this quite differently. What if you had the chance? At the crown. I would leap at the chance to rule. But a man needs wealth to bring down a king. Nobles must be bored, you understand. I make no promises. But I may be able to find you the silver you need. Under what terms? Knock Rodri from his throne. Withdraw all Britain's soldiers from Shirovshire. And never again threaten me. Gladly. I will see about the silver. Talk, talk, talk. All we do is talk. I'm waiting! You are with Rodri, yes? One of his advisors. I am that. Anir Apkadvarch by name. Address me proper. Tell me, soldier. Do you hold sway with your king? He consults me for his every decision. If I push for war, he will agree. If I argue for peace, he will follow. Peace is our desired end. Is there a chance that some silver might lead you to counsel your king in the same direction? A sack of silver? For me? Yes, I might amend my advice to Rodri for a tidy sum of shining metal. Yes. You are a wise warrior. Perhaps the silver will become available. <laughs> and you, go and take a shit and let me know how it turns out. We should settle this with blood, not pretty words. <laughs> King Rodri. What is it, Dane? I wish to help you to peace. I will not talk of peace until my brother Gwiriad is returned to me. If you first agree to peace, he will be returned. Would a sum of silver help overleap this difficulty? I cannot be purchased with looted silver, Dane. Stand away. Ah, enough of this nonsense! <laughs> Goliath. Are we in league, Dane, to buy me a throne? What say you? Take the silver, depose your brother, and you'll rule with our support. His blood will gush at my first opportunity. I should report what I know to Bishop Deolav. Eivor, my friend. I spoke with more people. Have you made a decision at last? Ivar is increasingly agitated. Rodri's brother. We used the silver to take the crown himself by force. He promised rebellion. Are you sure this was wise? Rodri, I see you mocking me. I challenge you. Single Ivar, combat no. now. Boneless Ivar. Spineless, toothless, gutless. You cannot kill me and him. Guriad! <laughs> By God Almighty, I'll... Get them to safety. Go, quickly. Kill the boneless one. Paint this chapel with his blood. Vikinger diplomacy! Show the fuckers who the real warriors are. Ah. Eva, you have scuppered the peace. Do not be fooled by peace, boy. It is just an empty voice between axe blows. Dear Lord, this is a massacre. 
We have no choice now but to fight a way out of this. Ah! A good test for you, boy. Lord, forgive us. Stay close, Jailbert. You watch my back, and I will pull the knives from yours. Dear Lord. Stay here, where it's safest, Bishop. Help me with this fucking door! <laughs> 